Good morning, Spreaker. How y'all doing, man? Hope everything is together. My, once again, computer is still moving slow. My sound effects ain't up yet. So, we got to struggle through that. Um, um, let me see. Okay, sound effects are coming up now. Uh, I got a mess with the problem. Oh, no, I didn't. All right, so, let me go and send out these texts. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what be going on sometimes. But I wanted to make sure I got my speaker chat up real quick. And let me go to messages just in case. I want to make sure that if y'all text me, we got it down, right? Hmm. All right. Let me see. G and J. Uh-huh. All right. We're going to click all of them. Let's say message. So you don't want to schedule one center out. Great. Ujima. Now I, I spell Ujima two different ways and I I well today I'm gonna spell it one A in the middle, two at the end. Alright, great Ujima. Time for the toast. You soon send bow. There we go. We sent it right now. We are going live. Hookups. Wake up my Mr. Gamels, let's just say it right there. Alright, we're gonna wake up those Mr. Gamels. We're gonna get it popping off. See when I sit it like that, it goes out fast, man. So Without the names and stuff, but hey, all right. So let's turn on the lights. Um, I want to be the first to say to you, great Ujima. No, it's great Ujima. Damn, damn, I got the wrong. Oh my god, I text out the wrong day. It's Ujima, you know, but it's been for some reason, it's been a long week for me. So, excuse the text. I have to send out excuse text. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's Ujima, not Ujima. Oh my God! I probably got Ujima on the Facebook page. Oh man! But listen, let me be the first one to say to you, Happy Spring! Today is the equinox. This is gonna be an equally long day as it is long night. Probably exactly about twelve hours. Well, I don't know. It might not be about. It's gonna be unbalanced a little bit because we adjusted. Yeah, I made a mistake. It's Ujima today. It's Ujima today. I, I need to apologize, apologize, Kwame. It's Ujima. You know, I was doing some hopeful thinking. I looked outside. There wasn't no snowstorm. They told, they promised me a snowstorm. And I didn't get no snowstorm this morning. And I got some flurries. You know what I'm saying? But I want to be the first to say great, great Equinox Day. You know what I'm saying? This is one of those holidays that we need to come up with. A celebration around, you know, a celebration. Oh, actually, I guess we kind of did. We got a movie this weekend. I got about three things I need to do. Um, this Kaumba that's going to keep me running. And um, we're having a money, a movie for a fundraiser. Uh, and I'm looking real. Um, good morning, Auntie. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to the movie. Um trying to think of the, uh, then uh, uh, we got a program with Cleveland to go he got to do some entrepreneurial type stuff uh, for, for this meeting um, and we just gonna move from there yeah man I don't believe I typed that I, that was messed up alright so let's get as Gina would say let's get started I Matter of fact, I'm about to get them started back on their videos, man. Uh, my girl, it just take I I go in, I cut their videos and stuff like that, and they really enjoy making them. But it just it takes a lot of time, right? So, and once I really started doing this on the, on a daily basis, and what I, I got a little bit more time now because I'm not cutting them no more. I'm just coming straight on here, doing it off the cuff. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, I do some, sometimes I do some research, but most of the times I want it to be raw and uncut for y'all. But yo, grab your water, grab your glass, y'all know what it is, let's see. I want to let you know you are not listening to Giami Journey Radio, no, my fault, Giami Journey Media. Sometimes I, sometime I think my fiend is over there smoking crack. And then we got, uh, there's a Heart of a Civil Production, and this is the Daily Toast. Mythic animals are all involved in illicit drugs. I'm very, I'm very sure about that now. But we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. straight into it so today we are on Ujima those of you that are looking at the title we I posted up the wrong day um, we did the show last night we had a good show um, I was able to keep it straight to an hour which is very rare and um, and I was kind of expecting a snowstorm because you know they was talking about it's going to snow for 12 straight hours it's going to be three to four inches. You know, I have bus drivers coming in now. What do y'all do with uh, Columbus Public Clothes? I said, Columbus Public Clothes, we call. And I, I don't know. Oh, okay, just checking. I mean, I'll come here building up my hopes. You know what I'm saying? And then nothing happens. You know, hey, I want to look outside, man. Look, just a couple of snowflakes just out there moving around. I'm kind of like, man. All right. So today is Ujima. Ujima stands for Collective Worker Responsibility. I know some of y'all looking at the title. Stop 
Look, stop, stop looking at the title. Ujima's collective work and responsibility. Uh, the modic principle of the day is righteousness. The um, M7, which we use for the school, is respect. That's the principle that we try to, to, to um, teach or plug the young people in today. The color is blue. The hermetic law today is the, the law of vibration. If you was born on this day and you male, the name is Kwaku. And if you're female, it's Akua, right? A-K-U-A. All right. So, in the African Center Cultural Virtue and Value System, from the Emotional Emancipation Circles, and um, I would suggest that a lot of, uh, I would suggest family that y'all find some of these emotional emancipation circles. Um, let me read this. Emotional emancipation circles are guided by a set of core values and principles consistent with our rich history as people of African ancestry. These principles are truth, just righteousness, reciprocity, and harmony, balance, reciprocity, and order. They derive from the earliest collection of ethical guidelines and are collectively referred to as Maya, the endless search for truth and justice. Obinga, 2004. Obinga suggests that Maya is a multifaceted, complex concept that includes a harmonious balance, seeks just treatment of the oppressed, and codifies a set of rules for appropriate conduct. The principles embodied in Mayat established in ancient Ekemet are also found in other parts of Africa as illustrated in the table below. As we do the work with the EECs, which is the Emotional Emancipation Circles, we strive to do so within the context of the guided and of and guided by these values and principles. It look like this. Alright, and they have these circles all over the country. You just can look up EEC or emotional emancipation circles and um, 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 look into them. Also, uh, we will be trying to bring Brother Wakesa back to Columbus so that we could do some more work with the, uh, with, with the emotional um, sciences that he dropped on us. You know what I'm saying? Because his piece, oh my God, listen, listen. Uh, his piece was very, very powerful, and I think will be a, a great, um, will give you some tools to add to your arsenal, especially if you're dealing with young folks. All right, um, where is his chart? Uh-oh. Let me move this chart around. Uh, Uh-oh. Set me up. I see. Alright. Well, I'll find it and I'll share it with y'all on another day. But, Brother Warkesa's information is golden. It's a key piece in helping uh, you personally grow because it helps, it, like I said, it helps you identify the emotion that you're feeling and use an emotion for what it's designed for. Um, it's the, um, he talks about emotions as uh, GPS signals that kind of let us know where we are so that we could know how to deal with the situation. Um, he breaks down emotions into uh, six basic emotions, three of which, if you feel them, you don't need to do anything. That's peace, power, and joy. But if you're feeling sad, mad, or scared, you know what I'm saying, and any combination that's kind of unbalanced like that, you got key questions that you need to ask yourself to help you guide or work, work through the emotion so that you can get the message that the emotion is trying to send you. All right? Very powerful stuff. All right. So today, um, in Wolof, we will be on yard, which is politeness and respect, particularly towards your elders. Um... A kind ethics, obedience, and respect. And in Yoruba, Iluti. 
which means teachability. All right. So let's run through that. I'm going to finish my water. I'm going to bring out the real stars of the day. If that ancestral lives, I'm kind of hurt because my, my case of sheet ain't around here. Maybe somebody in the house is using it. That's be some good news. Come on, drink your water with me. Come on, get get the water. If you need to drink a little bit of extra, drink a little bit of extra. Um, rule of thumb, you drink half your weight in ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, that means you drink 50, not 50 gallons, 50 ounces of water a day. Keep your body balanced. I'm working up. I'm working up to it. You know what I'm saying. So I want y'all to know we all, we all are in this struggle together. Because I drink a lot of coffee, and it don't, it don't help me. You know what I'm saying. I mean, it's like I be dozing off. I mean, I, this is a true story. I was driving yesterday and I fell asleep. I woke up. Didn't know where I was. Took the closest exit and got lost. Right? And I was confused because I couldn't remember whether I dropped my youngest daughter off or not. I'm sitting up there like, what the hell is going on here? You know, it's like shit. I mean, it's just like, and I don't be tired. This, this is what people don't understand. People are like, well, why you fuck? I have always, I mean, that's how it's been for me. I mean, I made it through high school like that. I made it through college like that. I mean, it's just like, I just, you know what I'm saying? And, and no, it's not, it's not narcolepsy, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know what I'm saying? I got that hair tubman disease, I guess. And that, and see, in the working too hard, I'll, Listen, I have truly been blessed because I get to do what I love. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's not, it's not strenuous. It's not hard. It's just repetitive actions. It's, it's like repetitive actions have always, I don't know. I'm looking into it. I might have to find me, I might have to find me a holistic doctor. If anybody in Columbus know any holistic doctors that go to, because I am not, I am not looking for no drugs. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know when I go when I go to the doctor, sound like narcolepsy. If not, then something exhibiting the same symptoms. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's what my mom says. You know, she come come out yell at me because she called me because I'm late dropping off my daughter. Call, you know. Uh oh, finally found you. What's up, Amatu Noor Ibrahim? Welcome to welcome to welcome to the show. Uh, repetitive action suggests a hypnotic. That's what I'm saying. Bored. I mean, kinda. I mean, I mean, cause I can be excited and fall asleep too. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've done that too. You know what I'm saying? I I actually, if you go back to my archive, I have had shows where I fell asleep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, uh, so I'm just like, man, it's, it is what it is. I'm working on it. So, you know, my mom said, yeah, I mean, you need to drink some coffee. I said, well, I was drinking coffee when I fell asleep. I mean, you know, shit. I, I'm got to be truthful. I, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's like early in the morning and it's like, so, I don't know. I'm working on it. Because, like I said, I got my babies in the car. So, now I got them on full alert. But they got it, too. You understand what I'm saying? They got it, too. Especially Cleveland. See, Cleveland don't even fight it. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to get him. I got to train him. You got to fight this thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now to the stars of the show, calling the ancestors. 
uh, we are going to be drinking some full ambrosia today. Let's see if we get here. Nope. I'm about to put another top on here. Because that means, that means some stuff is escaping. Alright. So, we're going to get, we're going to get the brewing. I got, I got maybe about nine gallons that I'll be brewing tonight. Because the tea should be ready. Hopefully. Go down there and check that tea. Let the bottles get the stuff together. So first, call it on the creator by whatever name you choose to call the creator. We lift up our glass and we say, I say. From there we move to the stars of the show. We call on our personal ancestors. Remember those who came before us, those that carried us when we couldn't carry ourselves, those who fed us. When we couldn't feed ourselves, those that looked out for us, those that watched us, you know what I'm saying, watched us grow up, some of them that grew up with us, we want to salute those people who made a major difference in our lives, those people who showed us we stand upon, we call on. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Tech Center Davis, I'm Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walton, Christopher Fanny Gadsden, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, Cleveland, Janela Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Jenny Gaines, Herman Brown, the second Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Falar, Monte Q. Pittman, No More X, Pet Ma Ra, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro, Actor Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Dagel Pulley and Luster Brothers, Miss Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jay Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McRae, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Ware, Rebita Farmer, I go so Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury, Sr., Leonard Dickerson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Elite, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keechler Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Darrell Giles, Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Milton Owens, Booker T. Bolton, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Davina Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. S. C. James Barham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amitet Woman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, and Doris Donald, and Ellis Murphy. All right? So that's the list. We got Brother Renee added Joe Davis to his list. Um, Brother Allende and Sister, um, Sister Jill. Salutes Timothy Butler. 
Um, Brother Nugas added Gene Holmes, Dana Jones. What time is our movie? This Kaumba. It will be two to five. Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Sister Tiandra, Salutes Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, and um, R.G. Finch, William Billings, Lee Jr., um, Brother Deshaun, Salutes his mom, Jennifer Sensabaugh, um, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Bradley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaneko Parsons, those my people. We got Sister Aisha, saluting Stacey Trice, Frankie Smith, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Miss Ford, salutes Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Bruce Jefferson, Dr. D, salutes Dan Wilkinson Sr., Sister Jackie, salutes Emma McClendon, um, Jerry Doyle, we salute Jerry Doyle, Mina Robertson, Patricia Williams, Shabaka, Shabaka Ture, we got Sister Madonna saluting Donna Hill and Richard Gleavis. Sister Cynthia salutes Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Void Irby, Jim Gauche, George and Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead. Sister CeeLo salutes Archie Beck, Anna McGill. Brother Santana salutes Aunt Becca. Elder Gray Garner salutes Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed. Sister Shelly I salutes Eula and Andrew Baker. Patricia and Edwin Brooks. Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Campbell Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creole Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Needle Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Brother um, um, Governor Anton Nixon, salutes Alex Nixon, Elder Bowie, salutes John Bowie, Elder Shedrick, salutes Lester and Rachel Sanders, Janelle Ross salutes Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, and Leroy Stokes. Elder Ori Pianchi salutes Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Manny and Charlie Scar Scott, Charles Stevenson, salutes Vivian Stevenson, Cassandra Holloway, salutes Mona Ann, Elder Phyllis salutes Martha Ford, Dawson, Big Mama, Nana Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Sister Enya salutes Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Sister Heather salutes Leroy Q. Q. Heath Sr. Patar Cashaw Moore salutes Albert Moore. Ye Ye Motley salutes Miss Vanilla, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, and Erlington Houston. Woo! All right. It's been a pleasure toasting those answers. So we lift them up and we say, I say, um, Brother Amatu Noor. Salutes John Dewey. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we got somebody else to the list. So, I got to get my pen out. We throw that down. Um, family, we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. Um, from there, we move on to the present moment. We kind of spoke about it. Activate the reticular formations. We're looking for a Jima. I know the title says... Ujima, for all those that may just be, I forget the title. I put the wrong one up, Russia. Today is Ujima, right? So I want you to focus on finding Ujima in your life, in your community. You know what I'm saying? Use our rectangular formations to, to focus in on, on, on what we want. So we lift up the glass and we say, I shave from there. We salute our children, our children's children, on to infinity. And we say, I shave. From there, finally, we salute all of our relations, and we say, I say, most importantly, family, I toast you. Um, so we say, I say, I say, I say, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. It was something I wanted to tell you. All right, Malcolm X Festival on May 19th. We got the movie this weekend. Right, we're gonna be do um, it's not do the right thing. It's uh, school days. We got school days that will be we will be showing at the Millennial Community School between two and five. And of course, the most important part for me is the discussion after the movie. Um, we got a camping trip coming up. I will be posting up information about that. Everybody on my G and J list and my Kwanzaa list, you will be getting text. 
those that want to join, those that want to join the text team, right? Because I'm sending out, sending out information. The number is 614-300-1875. Once again, that's 614-300-1875. All right? Just text. Um, if you want information about the celebrations, just text Kwanzaa 365. If you want to, if you want to be part, um, be notified when the daily toast is going down, especially on the weekends, because you got to catch me when you can. You know what I'm saying? Text G and J or daily toast. You know what I'm saying? And um, oh, check this out. So I wake up this morning, checking my news feed. On my news feed, they got that person that was driving the driverless, which is kind of crazy driving the driverless uber vehicle was a convicted felon and i'm just wondering what in the hell does that have to do with you know what i'm saying with somebody dying i mean it's just like sometimes people just be looking for looking for news like you know that has absolutely nothing to do with this person being in the car when the car ran over this woman who was walking at 10 o'clock at night with her bike that suddenly stepped out in the front of an Uber vehicle. And my question is, you know, so you're looking at this person and you 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 throwing in the felonies, but has anybody looked into the woman who stepped out at 10 o'clock at night with a bike? Didn't see a car coming. Has anybody looked at that? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't mean to sound rude, but it kind of sound like suicide. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know, I'm sitting up here like, well, damn, you ain't see the car coming. The lights wasn't, the car wasn't on it. I'm, you know, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You step out in the middle. I mean, literally, I think she was on a, a center beam. And stepped out in front of the damn car. You know what I'm saying? Was there some agenda there? Was it you know what I'm talking? Just sitting up here, you know. But you gon' but you gonna go to uh, the the vast quest, fellow uh, I think they were, you know, uh, Latino, um, or Chicano. I don't know. It's out west. So, but you know, I mean, because you did ask that question, so I did look into it. But yeah, um, yeah. So they bringing up that this the person had a felony. I'm like, what the hell that got to do? They was just they was just a backup driver in the uh, driverless vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So, but I just wanted to share that. And family, I'm out. Y'all have a great morning. I will see you. I will see you tomorrow morning. Um, because we don't have a show tonight. I'll see you tomorrow morning because I'm going to get home and finish my brewing tonight. So, uh, I want to say peace. Um, I'm a two. I am going to go on and put you in my book. Put your ancestor in the book. John Dewey. All right? So, with that family, I'm out. Love you too, sir. So, um, I'm out, Loretta. So, you should be the sister, brother, man. Let's, but hey, I got you. All right. Uh, peace out, Brother Kwame. Um, let me go and write your stuff down right now. I'm a two. Okay, Amatu, one more question. Do you have any other ancestors you want to add to the list? So, without the names and stuff, but, hey, all right, so let's turn on the lights. All right, so I am out, family. Y'all have a great morning.
Um, okay, cool. We got John Dewey. We got Ruth Beard. I'll stay on for a couple more minutes if you got some more. So, um, wow, this is the first time I really used chat on Spreaker, and I'm very impressed because it's almost like rapid. You know what I'm saying? You got any more you want to add? No problem. All right. So y'all have, you have a great morning and a great day. And I am out.